Thanks for all for coming. Uh, it's a tragic incident. Um, 8.30 last night we were called to a uh, what we can confirm as a gas explosion at the properties behind us. Um, we've had a, a number of resources, uh, multi-agency sort of resources uh, attending throughout the night uh, and tragically one lady has lost her life. Uh, another male has been taken to hospital with significant uh, injuries and four further uh, individuals have had um, uh, smaller injuries and they've been re uh, released at sea. Um, so our thoughts go out to everybody, friends, family, and the communities that have been affected. Um, you know, regarding this uh, this this terrible incident. Uh, but as you can see behind me, um, with, there's now an, an investigation stage uh, which is taking place um, amongst uh, a number of um, different sort of colleagues and different services uh, services to understand exactly how this is uh, how this is uh, taken uh, taken place. As a police service, we're working to support the fire service um, in their investigation to establish the cause of the explosion. Um, obviously, it's a very sad and tragic set of circumstances. Um, as has already been confirmed, there is one fatality. There's also one male critically ill in hospital at the moment. Um, so I can confirm that's, that's the state of his condition at the minute. It is critical. Um, we can't unfortunately release the identification of either the deceased or the male that's critically ill in the hospital at the moment. Um, we're obviously in the process of informing relatives, but we will release that as soon as we possibly can. Um, I'd just like to say a huge thank you. There were some really heroic actions from members of the community last night. Um, and I'd just like to say a huge thank you to the community for their ongoing support.